Okay, so um, I got some items right here from from um, Daiso, and if you don't know what Daiso is, the short of it, it is a um, Japanese dollar store, pretty much, is the easiest way to explain it, but that's kind of an understatement, just because um, the stuff they carry is actually really, is like actually really good quality, and uh, these, these, this is, these, these two in particular, these two are an item that I've been looking for for at least like a year and a half now, um, because I saw them on a... I think a Twitter post or something, and I thought these were so freaking cool. And then in the search of that, I found this, which um, is kind of similar. Um, but yeah, so um, what they are is basically selfie sticks, like they say selfie sticks, but for acrylic stands and then for plushies. What they're like, um, yeah. So that way you can pose them in photos, and uh, it's something that I've been wanting to do, um, but it's awkward because if you're holding it, then and yeah, that makes it awkward, and I, I don't like that, how that looks. Um, I know that's just a personal thing, but anyways, I was looking for these, and I kept asking Daiso workers, because I had pictures of them saved on my phone. I like screenshotted pictures, and um, I would tell them, I'm like, I'm looking for these, and they just looked at me really crazy, um, had no idea what I was talking about, uh, and of course, kept giving me the wrong things. Um, but of course, supposedly, that number, that 7,497... Uh, Supposedly those corner numbers are the item number. I don't know how true that is. That's what one of the workers told me. But I mean, they've I've only heard that once, um, right? But supposedly they can look they can look that up on their computers or whatever. Um, but uh, but yeah. So finally, after a year, like no joke, a year and a half of looking, maybe closer to a year. No, I think it's about a year and a half. Of looking i finally found them in freaking store i was so happy I, I think i bought like two of each um to save one to keep one or whatever and then like how they have the clips like so i can display them and then um and then if i get a whole like uh, plushie or acrylic stand um display case then i have uh, multiple things to grab and move and, and pose my plushies and a whole bunch of uh cool stuff and uh, yeah so the, <laughs> i thought these were really really cool so i grabbed them um and then when i was like i said when i was looking this is similar but it's like a base stand so that way this can hold your plush, and like you could have it uh, displayed somewhere. Um, so we're gonna start with kind of more of the awkward one, um, which is this one. And so you can see it has a little. Oh, that's oh, that's a strong clip. Oh, that's a really freaking strong clip. That I'm a little bit worried about breaking the plastic, but oh, that's a that's a solid clip though. That's a lot of force. They they put a pretty. That's a pretty hefty one, but um, but yeah, these joints are, uh, they're good, they're solid. That's a solid ball joint for sure, with with like a little bend in the middle so it can collapse. Um, so it's a pretty solid joint. Um, the acrylic doesn't feel super cheap either. That feels pretty decent. Okay, this is a lot better. This chip isn't as hard or as hefty of a of a pinch as this one is. Yeah, that one's hefty as heck. But this one, this one feels good. This one feels comfortable. Still a little bit hard, but it looks good. And so, for a quick demonstration, I'm going to use my uh, Shaki Pio um, acrylic stand, so that way we can get an idea. So yeah, there we go. So we'd have that as like the selfie stand thing or whatever. Um, let me see if I can do this. I'm gonna try to not move it too much. Oops, oops, did not mean to happen. Oh wait, on the base. Yeah. Oh, it does not wanna, dang it, the bolt joint doesn't wanna move. Hold on, let me try to get this just, the bolt joint to lock up. There we go. Um, so yeah, so you can do stuff like that. And so that's what the ball joint on that one is and um, so yeah, so that way you could take pictures and stuff with them of different items, and uh, it just looks really cool. And like I said, so that way I could be out of the frame or whatever. Um, but yeah, but I thought it was funny, because like, I saw that little keychain thing on there, and this just reminds me of uh, Makumon Kocho from uh, Kill la Kill, or whatever. Um, so yeah, so let me go to the next one. And so, again, it's the same thing, but now... It's a grabby arm. So it's a, it's multiple like barrel joints or whatever. 
So it gives you like six little points to grab. Or whatever. I don't, I don't like the, these top ones feel a bit loose. But overall it'll give you the to be able to grab or whatever. And so that way, let me use a plush real quick. You can grab, grab a plush. And this look, works really well with, with Testerina. Um, so that way you could have her in the frame without having your arm in the frame. And this will be a little bit more harder to pull off just because she's so heavy. But yeah, there we go. But yeah, something like that. But yeah, I thought something that I thought was really freaking cool. And um, something that um, I could use to do pictures. Cause I've been wanting to do. I've wanted to do pictures like this, where there's, it's the the plushies or the e easier acrylic stands in like different places. Because I always thought that was really cool um, to do. Because I really don't care about me being in photos at all. I'd rather just have a, a little plushie or something um, cool or whatever. Um, let me open the next one. Uh, Cause I always thought that'd be cool to do and something that's maybe a little bit different. I guess. Not super crazy, but here's the other one with the same kind of hands. Um, I think they look they look a little bit. Do they look different? Oh no, they're the same. You know what it looks like? I think I think they're the same clip because um, they're just um, like like clips like the these pinch ones. I think they're the same as these, just without the thing in the middle, because that's what they look like. But uh, yeah, these look the same too, and since they all look about the same size, I probably could interchange them and do stuff. And so now I can do um, one of the things I've been wanting to do with this Tessarina plush, and that's to have her stand up on her own. Let me try to get this to work. Let me try to maybe grab her hair. No, that's two. That's two. Hmm, let me see. But uh, yeah, like I said before, I've been wanting to have her have her stand up on her own. But yeah, it's it's getting there. Probably have to mess with it off camera a little bit. Oh, I wish I could peel. Because she she kind of wants to stand, but it's just the weight. There we go. There we go. Just the weight of herself is a really heavy. There we go. Um, just the weight of herself is a bit heavy to the side or whatever. Um, but I think that would really help her out. And then, like I said, with this uh, messing with it a little bit, I could probably get it to work how I want to. And then if the joints are not, because yeah, some of these joints are a bit stiff. I mean, um, looser than other ones. I could probably fix that with just a little bit of uh, super glue and sanding it down um, after it dries, of course. And then that'll give me more tighter, a more tighter tolerance or whatever. But uh, yeah, this is something I thought was really cool and something that could help out um, when I want to use like the plushies for like for like photos or like the acrylic stands for photos because I think that just looks really cool. Um, and it's not as distracting as me just like holding it um, in place or whatever. And so that way I think it could be could be actually done really well. And then, like I said, I just gotta get used to um, used to moving them around and then uh, positioning them how I'd like them to be or whatever. But yeah, let me get you guys a, a close up of the item right there. Stick for shooting a uh, plush doll. Oh, and then it's even in uh, Portuguese, which I thought was pretty interesting. And then it's in the collection section. There's that one. Here's the other one. Collection. There's the number again. There's the other one. Um, but yeah, so Daiso is such a cool store, man. They have like so much cool collectible little like goody things to help you out, and then like stuff to organize. Like it's it's insane, like how how much like cool stuff they have, and it's like so dang cheap. Like I needed some um, CDs, some CD covers, because I have some some CDs with different stuff on them, and uh, they had some there, <laughs> and so I bought it, and it was like a couple bucks, and like. Don't quote me on it, but for sure these were under three dollars each. So that's why I got like two of each of these, and then I think I got one or two of these. I don't remember. I have them in another box or whatever. Um, but it's something that I thought was super super cool uh, for sure, or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's that's 
all I got for this one, though. Um, I don't have that many acrylic stands out right now, or else I would maybe do a different one. And then plushies. I really don't have um, that many plushies, surprisingly, uh, that that stand up like this. Because um, I have my stocking one, but um, she has the little, uh, like, rope, little strap thingy on top. So I just have her hanging um, on, like, one of those little uh, command hooks or whatever. But, uh, yeah, so that's all for this one, and uh, uh, thanks for watching.